Hi everyone, and today I'm gonna show you what you can do with PSP in 2019 and uh, also I'm just gonna give you some advices if you're looking to buy one of these which model it's maybe gonna be the best for you to buy uh, let's start with uh, maybe the be beginning of the PSP and this is the model PSP 1000 of course unfortunately this one actually the original one is <laughs> out of order I mean the battery went flat, I purchased one battery online, but unfortunately it was holding for about half an hour, even it was a brand new battery. I have one white one, PSP 1000. It's maybe the most solid one. I would say the first model, it looks good in the hands, so you can feel comfortable. And I have a lot of games actually installed on this one. Uh, so like on each of them I have a lot of games, uh, also some retro games, you can have a look uh, Colin McRae, I have some PS1 games, some classic games Basically, I'll tell you something, this is the model I do not recommend you And I'll give you my reason, I just want to show you what kind of games I have This was a Dino Crisis 2, yep that's correct This is a Dino Crisis 2, this is NBA, I have Dune 2000, this is a PS1 classic game uh, well some other games as well I have and some emulators uh, as well the reason I don't recommend you the PSP 1000 is uh, because of this analog controller uh, in both of uh, the consoles I have this one is pretty much still in use but the other one is literally out of use and because I have uh, I, I'm playing Diablo 1 as well PS1 classic game I'm gonna show you I think I have it here somewhere the Abu one uh, and the thing is that when you're when I'm moving with the main controller it's uh, this controller you use it for the different uh, spells and also for the map and then it's constantly coming on and off the map well still this one is fine but on the other one actually which I keep off it's uh, I still can use it if I decide but I need to play games where I don't really require the analog stick maybe if I play and uh, when let's say when I use the controller I'm not gonna affect the gaming but uh, this is basically uh, <clears throat> one of the main reason I would not recommend you PSP 1000 it seems this is uh, the weak point of this uh, model and uh, yeah, you can uh, unfortunately end with a bad experience in some games if you rely on this controller. However, as I said, uh, in my case, in this one, it's still in use, but it's uh, not the best. Also, something very important, I think the screen quality, it's uh, not the not as good as in some of the newer models. So I would definitely say this one seems more solid one, more strong one, but in the meantime, I don't know what to say, so let's move to the next one. I have actually two of these consoles, and this is PSP 2000s. Um, there are two different ones, actually. One was actually my older ones, which I got long, long, long time ago. So far, I don't have a problem with the controller. Some people are saying uh, that basically the PSP 3000 controller, the analog, analog stick, is the best. Still, I have some of the games here, which I have on the other one. And the reason is because of the analog stick I have to install here, Dino Crisis 2 as well. I have as well Dune 2000, and I have Warcraft 2 here, this is well PS1 classic game I can play. Well, it's not as comfortable as you can play on a computer. Also, I have Diablo, it's funny, I have the Diablo on three of my PSP consoles, and I'll give you the reason. The reason is that you can do no more than two saves in one, uh, in one game. So, the reason is in one of the games I play with the Warrior, in one of the games I play with the... Uh, uh, Archer or whatever was like an Amazon, however they call it in the dev one and uh, in the one of the consoles I play with a sorcerer. This is the other PSP 2000s I have and uh, they I have some classic games here as well like Gran Turismo 2, Gran Turismo the first one. I have a lot of uh, these uh, retro games and this is maybe one of the main reasons uh, many people consider to buy PSP. Well now in current days you can also get it on PS Vita where you're gonna get a better, you know, you're gonna get a bigger screen and everything, but uh, <clears throat> the thing is that unfortunately to buy PS Vita you're gonna spend more money than you have to. I mean, not than you have to, it depends on your budget, let's say like this. Uh, so here, let me see maybe, okay, let's go here in this one. I'm just gonna review to, I wanna browse what kind of games I have here. Game Boy, come on, PC Engine, okay, let's try this one. 
Mm -hmm. oh, maybe I'm not very prepared to do this one. Let me try some of the other emulators. I mean, unfortunately, as I have so many game consoles, I'm not really playing on them very regularly. And uh, let me see some of the other emulators where I'm for sure. Yep, let's get to the Sega, Sega ones. And uh, it's actually a big collection of games. As you see, I hope you can see, but this is actually one of the main reasons uh, Last Action Hero. It's a lot of games actually I have, like it's thousands of games I have on this PSP. Sometimes I'm playing some of these retro games, which are actually, I find them a bit complicated. Uh, they aren't really, really easy ones. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's a nice retro look, how to say, going in the back. Let me see something, maybe I can start a game for you. So, something interesting, Robo, Robocop versus Terminator, let's start this one, and uh, let's go ahead. Something from the past. As you see, nice, yeah. But I'm not that good actually in this game, but actually I might try it. It seems nice. It's one of the, of the main reasons actually, okay, you know, <laughs> uh, about the retro gaming is maybe one of the best reasons, as well as a lot of PSP games uh, and PS1 games you can actually download and then uh, put in the PSP, as I said, uh, it's one of the main reasons. I have a lot of PSP games actually in this one. Uh, some nice, nice games, and then of course all the emulators. So PSP 2000 is fine. I would say if you want to get one, it's maybe the best option you can have. Uh, it might come a little bit cheaper than PSP 3000. Well, I have one PSP 3000 here. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of games on it. Actually, I have only one game, which is actually a game from PS Store, and this is my PSP 3000. Basically, on part of the number, it's nothing really much different between the two PSPs. This is 3000. This is the 2001. Actually, it's pretty much the same part of the part of the number. There is nothing really much you need to how to say. The only thing is that this one I'm using is actually that I'm downloading uh, some games I have in a PSN store. That's actually for the official games. I have only one game here actually. Uh, I have downloaded and this is Alone in the Dark, it's a PS1 classic game which I purchased and downloaded, uh, you can play it as well on PS3, unfortunately I wanted to play on my PS Vita but uh, I'm unable to do it so I mean I decided okay why not, I mean I got this PSP 3000 from eBay, I bid for it, I mean it's not hacked so basically can run only original games or uh, you know like uh, digital purchase from the PSN store but the reason I really like this one is uh, because it's really brand new one and I bid for it and then I got it on a very good price I mean it came with two games which I'm probably not gonna play anyway but uh, it's not really my favorite ones but uh, yeah at that time I have just alone in the dark so I just want to give you a tip if you have a chance as I didn't have my PlayStation 3 with me at the time and I had to connect the PSP to Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, as uh, this is a little bit old, uh, how to say, technology and uh, the Wi-Fi probably uh, <coughs> system, it's not as advanced as the new routers. You need to do something uh, first if you want to connect your PSP to the Wi-Fi. Basically, what I've done, there are a few videos in YouTube if you review how to connect my wi -Fi, uh, my PSP to the new router, to the new Wi-Fi, and basically, and uh, basically, <coughs> the what can what you need to do? You need to check about your internet provider. There would be uh, some option you can go online, and then uh, in my case, I had in the back of my router a username and a password I could use to log in. 
As soon as I logged in, I had a lot of uh, options about my router. So I was able to change uh, because I was WPA2 to I think WPA1. I mean, I need to just confirm this information. As soon as I did the change, I managed to connect this PSP3000 to Wi-Fi and then I could log in to the PSN store. Well, I'm going to give you another tip. As soon as you log into the PSN store, you will not going to be able to browse any games or to, let's say, to, to find any shop, how to say, any options to buy games through the PSP. But you're going to be able to, to check the, your library and if there are any available games for your PSP console, you can download them. Well, I'll give you another tip that why I would recommend you if you if you want to okay this is how it looks like it's this is the lone in the dark i have done all this is from the psn store uh, basically what uh, i'm gonna advise you you can check uh, all your purchases and whatever is available and can be played on a can be played on a, on a psp you're gonna be able to download it but the reason i told you originally that is good uh, that is good uh, to use a PS3 if you want to transfer any games to your PSP console is that it took me about more maybe like half an hour to download the game on the PSP direct from the PSN store and then it took about another half an hour to install the game <laughs> yeah it's uh, much faster if you can just copy the game uh, so that is as I said if you want to do it maybe it's a better option if you can uh, do it with uh, one of your uh, if you have a PS3 so it's gonna save you some time Okay, this is basically the only game I wanted to play on this console and I haven't started it yet, you know, like as you see I have a big collection of PSPs, it's not, uh, it's not only that, I have a lot of few, uh, a few more game consoles, however, I'm gonna go, okay, switch to, basically just to let you know here, in case other settings, this is the full screen because most of the time, uh, when you start PSN 1 classic game, it's it's gonna come like this in a smaller screen So what can you do? You can press the PS button and then you go to the other settings screen mode and then you go full screen Usually it's what I'm using you can do zoom, but then I think you might lose part of the screen So you don't want to do you don't want this to happen. So I usually go to the full screen Mode and then anyway as I said, I'm gonna switch off for now and this is so far PSP 3000, maybe the model I recommend, especially this one, I found it, it's literally brand new and uh, it feels amazing. Well, there is one other model I'm really pretty much amazed from, and this is the PSP Go model. And uh, this is the one I have with a lot of emulators, and then so you see this is the analog controller. It's uh, really nice, it's, the screen seems to be a little bit much better than uh, PSP 1000, I think in one of my other videos, I kind of, uh, when I reviewed PSP Go, I kind of, uh, you know, like I compare the screens between this one and the PSP 1000 and there were like obvious difference in the brightness and uh, the colors and everything. Of course, this one and PSP 3000, they are much later editions than the PSP 1000. As I said, PSP 2000 seemed to be pretty much well for me as well. Uh, what I was going to tell you, this one is very nice one, it's really pocket, uh, how to say, option because it's much smaller, even when you open it, even let's say this is PSP 2000, but then you can see basically, how to say, I'm gonna close it for a moment, I mean, anyway, it's plenty of games, I believe you're aware of the different games you can buy, uh, but basically you can see even that it's slim model, it's much, much bigger than the PSP 1000, I mean, uh, the, the PSP 2000 is much bigger than PSP Go, as you see, this one is really like a small one. It's uh, like a slide screen. It feels really well, I would say. I really like it. Uh, one of the only problem I have, it, uh, my hands are a bit, a bit bigger for it. So what I'm afraid is when I play some games, let's say if it's a more dynamic game like Taken and I need to use the L and R buttons, which are here on the back, I'm afraid that uh, I can literally just break the console. And I would say, you know, like if depending how you feel it, uh, it's really amazing model. And just don't forget something that if you have this model, you have only two options to play games. Even if if you have any of these, if you have any of these UMD games, there is no UMD drive on the 1000 model. So basically, uh, if you have any of these discs, they're not gonna be able to go into the console. So the only reason, the only way you can play games if you have a digital purchases in the PSN store or. Uh, if you, for example, uh, have a way to download some games, 
like if you have uh, that would mean that it need to be hacked PSP Go so you can download some games and you can just simply copy and paste them to your console this is the best way so see this one is a little bit different even the charger the other every single other model it's more like uh, the same type of charger if you see but this one is a little bit different one so apologies it's a little bit different one so just be prepared of I mean I'm gonna switch this one off anyway I need to put it in the charger I and mean, it's nice the clock you can get but as you said you see it's a really nice one small one and there is something else I want to tell you in case I actually I didn't switch it off I think let me see if you switch it off and uh, yeah I switched it off completely if it's a uh, you know like uh, like this one so you can download and put the games for free some of the games they might disappear from your storage so this one is with a launcher and it will look like some of the <coughs> some of the games they, they went missing remember how many games i had so just if you end in this situation doesn't mean that the, the games were deleted you just came not in starter and this is the launcher and you need to start it and after you start the launcher then you can come back to the storage and then you're going to be able to see the games yep that's correct just let's wait for a while mm -hmm. it's it's really nice one i really like it but just the only thing it's just a little bit smaller as you said for my hands it's a little bit as you see my hands and then you know it's just like i'm losing it inside <laughs> so otherwise it's maybe the best model and as i said after you start the launcher then you can check and then you have all the games originally were here earlier there you go and yep that's basically the secret and you have the time here i think it's not really the accurate time it says tuesday 10th and today is wednesday 9th however i haven't really set the time it wasn't the main purpose i'm getting this console well in some of the other ones i always have the games the installed games i don't really need to start any launchers however there is only one model which i don't have here with me and this is the e1000 model which was the model launch later it was a budget option uh, to buy it was cheaper i think there wasn't any wi-fi options so mostly you can basically just uh, play the physical copies of the games or uh, in the other option you can you can just simply play uh, you know like you can just download and copy and paste uh, to the memory stick to the memory card some games for internet uh, as i said i recommend you if you buy psp in 2019 you go for the 3000 model 2000 model as well is not bad depends how do, you, how do you feel and if you can find some you can simply just copy and paste games psp go is as well a good option as you said because of the size it's very pocket size it feels very nice uh, not that this one cannot fit in the pocket it can feel as well but uh, just as you said 1000 model is maybe more like the more solid one it feels perfect for my hands but as you said this is the weak point of the 1000 point uh, models well i mean i would say depending how you play maybe you can damage any of uh, the analog controllers on any of the models uh, but i really would say you go for psp 2000 or psp 3000 this is uh, my opinion as i have an experience with most of different models in the PSP except one E1000. I hope you like my video and uh, you also can review some of my other videos where I have some reviews about PS Vita and PSP. This is all for now. Bye bye.